Hey everybody, welcome to Feature Friday. Today I want to talk about batch billing. I'm just opening a couple tickets here for a business customer of ours, a fake customer helped with email. And I want to show how you could have tickets going throughout the month <clears throat> and then all at once at the end make a batch invoice. So <clears throat> I'm going to show a couple things in workflow here, the time tracking in line. Um, so maybe I said, did a remote support session to fix email. Thanks. And I'm going to put spent uh, 90 minutes here, charge time now, boom. And then I'm going to resolve this. So what that charge time now did is it put a ticket charge on here. Um, so there's like a pending ticket charge and I'm just going to resolve that ticket. And then maybe like <clears throat> the next day I'm talking to this customer and you know we need to do a uh, reconnect printer for reception. So we have another ticket, software printer help create. So you know maybe um, for this one someone like goes on site so they might do that a little different. Maybe we'll put a trip charge on it too. I'll put um, went on site to help with printer. All set. And this is going to be 60 minutes labor charge now. And then I'm just going to did that go? Yeah, that went. I'm going to put a trip charge on here. Trip charge. Always got to charge the trip charge. And then resolve. So your technicians can be you know, opening tickets, tracking time, putting charges on, and resolving tickets all throughout the month. Let's just do one more. Um, maybe this is like a new server hardware. New server installation. I have these intake forms turned on for other use cases, but these don't quite make sense. So maybe this one has like a, I don't know, do I have a server in here? No, I'll just do with some random Dell system and put like $5,000 on here. Oh, I'm back ordered too. Okie dokie. Um, so basically, um, installation went well. All set. I'm like really resolving these quickly, aren't I? Maybe that was 240 minutes of um, different type of labor. Okay, so we've got a few tickets, a few different types. Um, we're resolving these as we go. Now, a couple things. On our like welcome screen, there's all these pending ticket charges, unbilled work. This is one place where you can see that there's some of those pending. There's also a report that shows these. Let's see if I can find it on the first try here. Um, Pending ticket charges, pending ticket charges. So this one shows um, pending ticket charges. That's the same report with two different links. Um, tickets without charges is another report we can look at. Okay, so let's go by this one. So, um, you know, on all these tickets for these different customers, we have these different charges and this is saying these are charges that are on tickets that are real that people owe you the money for and have not been invoiced so this is a report you can check periodically to make sure you're not forgetting to invoice things and then what you can do is you know once a month or once a week or even in a recurring invoice system you can come in and go new invoice and you're gonna see all those things in the shopping cart these are the pending ticket charges so if you wanted to make a batch invoice you could hit add all and these would all be on this invoice and here's your batch invoice it's going to include you know all that detail the note from the ticket which ticket it was from ticket this subject that. so all that details in there so the client knows what ticket what date that was from and you can do a nice little batch bill the other cool thing that you can do if you want to automatically do this is let's delete let's delete this invoice and that should put those things back into the shopping cart. Let's see. Um, 
go back to them, do a new invoice. I'm just kind of double checking that those are on the shopping cart where I expect they are. Okay, so from the invoice module, uh, from the recurring invoices, there's a setting in here. Um, I'm just going to go any one of these random things and just so you see it. <clears throat> Add any pending ticket charges from shopping cart. So if you wanted to make them a monthly invoice and maybe you have it don't email so that it just sits there pending so you can go look at it, you can check this box, add any pending ticket charges, and when this schedule runs every month, all those all those shopping cart items will get batched into that invoice. So that's a way where you can just do a monthly bill, you can just have tickets going, putting ticket charges on as you go, clients never seeing those, and then boom, when this thing hits, or when you go do that manual invoice I showed you a minute ago, they get the whole batch. So this is what we refer to as batch invoicing. There's a couple different workflows to do it, and let us know how that works for you.